Hello friends and welcome to Edupedia World Videos. This is the course Linux Operating System Basics by Vagish Kumar and in this particular video you will be learning about the differences between Linux and Windows Operating System. So we will have a comparison between these two operating systems Linux and Windows. Windows is an OS which I assume that you are already familiar to and you will compare various features of Linux to the known feature of Windows. So first of all the origins of both the operating systems. Linux as we have already discussed in previous videos is a Unix like and POSIX compliant computer operating system. So what is Unix? Unix, Unix is an operating system which earlier was developed by AT&T, an American company for use on supercomputers and mainframes and Unix followed the POSIX standards for various functionalities and Linux was designed to be POSIX compliant that means it is exactly a Unix clone so anything that you can do on Unix you can also do on Linux and anything any software that you can run on Unix you can also run on Linux but Linux followed a model of free and open source software development and distribution. The def defining component of Linux is the Linux kernel that is an oper uh, operating system kernel which was released in the beginning. So that still remains the core of the Linux operating system although there have been a lot of changes in the code of the kernel. Then Microsoft Windows is a series of graphical interface operating systems developed marketed and sold by Microsoft. So initially we had some versions of Windows that were not independent, that were not the complete operating systems, but they were rather system softwares running over the Microsoft DOS. So first the DOS used to boot up and then when you fired some commands like win, init, etc., then the Windows used to come up. So these were the Windows initial versions of Windows. One of the very, very popular versions out of those was the Windows 3.1. Then came Windows 95 onwards, the standalone operating systems of Windows. So then came Windows 98 and further we all know, which is a very popular OS, Windows XP came into the picture and then Windows 7 and these days we are using Windows 10. Okay, so these are all the series of graphical interface operating systems developed, marketed and sold by Microsoft. So Microsoft introduced this, this operating system environment, Windows, on 20th November 1985 as a graphical operating system over their shell or Microsoft's DOS. Then the cost. So Linux can be freely distributed. So it is a free software and it is an open source software. It means that its source code also is freely available to anyone to understand and modify and distribute. So it can also be distributed through magazines, books. So various computer magazines come into the market which have CDs of Linux distributions on them. And the priced versions of Linux also exist in this world but they are generally priced on support basis so only the support if you take the support from the developing company uh, then you have to pay a price for that like the Red Hat Enterprise Linux so the advantage is that in case you face any problem in your deployment in your Linux in your production systems so they can come to your rescue So these are generally only bought by companies but for home user you can just go for the free versions like Ubuntu, CentOS, Fedora and uh, many other distributions that come there for you these days. Whereas on the other hand, Windows is a paid operating system and its versions range from a rate of rupees 6000 to 15000. So a basic Windows version which they call as Windows Basic or Windows Home can be obtained for close to rupees 6000 and the topmost version which is an enterprise class OS can be obtained for rupees 15,000 onwards. Okay, so the development and distribution of Linux operating system is done by an open source company. The kernel is maintained by a company 
the website kernel.org and this organization is headed by Linus Torvalds, the original founder, creator of Linux operating system. So through sharing and collaboration of code and features, various users contribute to the development of Linux and it is distributed by various vendors. Whereas Windows is developed by Microsoft and distributed solely by Microsoft. So the manufacturer of Linux is the Linux community of which Linus Torvalds is the owner and he oversees it. So he is the chairperson you can say in the Linux community whereas Windows is developed and owned and manufactured by Microsoft. Language that has been used to develop various uh, both of these OSs. So for Linux, the programming language is entirely C language. So entire code of Linux is written in one language, that is C language. Whereas in Windows, we have used they have used a lot of languages like the assembly language, C language, and C++ to develop Microsoft Windows. User interface for Linux. Uh, whenever we talk of user interface there are two kinds of user interfaces available in both the operating system and in, in usually in all of the operating systems one is the graphical user interface that we are all familiar with so that is the windows desktop so that is an example of graphical user interface the other interface is the command line interface which we seldom use which are only used by the advanced users or programmers so the windows has uh, Microsoft DOS as its command line interface. So for GUI, if we talk of graphical user interface, Linux has Genome, KDE, Unity, LXDE. So there are a number of graphical user interface options available over Linux and various distributions prefer to use one or the other. And you can install any of these graphical interfaces on your Linux systems and you can also install multiple graphical interfaces. So it is possible for you to have different kind of graphical environments on the same Linux system and you can choose to work on any one of them as you wish. But Windows have only one graphical user interface which is the Windows desktop and we all are familiar with it. CLI. So in command line interface Linux again has a number of options which is the Linux shell which comes in various versions like the bash shell or born again shell then there is the c shell and then there is the k shell and there are a lot more shells also available but we generally use bash and throughout this course i think we will be using bash shell shell only for learning the linux commands and scripting for windows we have the microsoft dos as the sole cli command line interface that is available over windows so in the newer versions of the Windows, they have introduced a command line interface known as the Windows PowerShell, which is nothing but an advanced version of DOS. Hard disk layout. So, a uh, major difference in Linux and operating system, uh, Windows operating system, when you use that operating system, you will find is in the way their hard disk is partitioned. So, in Windows, you know that you have to open My Computer, and within the My Computer, you will have your C drive, D drive, E drive. Or any number of the partitions that you have on your hard disk will be available over here and you, then you can access your folders and files whereas when you talk of Linux it does not have partition layout that way so it does not have a C drive D drive or E drive whereas Linux partitions are accessible through something known as the mount points so it is nothing but just a name given to a partition so you can have a partition mounted to a particular name like boot swap and single backslash is known as root in Linux so that is the root node of your OS so that is the zeroth point or the starting point or the outermost folder just like your my computer inside your C uh, inside your Windows when you open a Windows my computer you see all the drives over there similarly for Linux you have the backslash simple backslash which is also known as the root prompt or the root partition root mount point so on this mount point you have various other partitions available on the other hand 
other partitions are there like boot, swap. So these three are the most critical partitions and whenever you install a Linux operating system you need to have at least three partition mount points. One is the root, one is the boot and one is the swap. So apart from that you can have optional number of mount points like var, opt, home, media, etc, mount, etc. So we will learn about all of these when we will learn about the Linux installation in the coming videos. Okay, so I hope that these differences were clear to you and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. So continue to watch our course Linux Operating System Basics. Thank you.